Nekaloya. Is one able to use past life crimes to explain one's crimes in this life? Oh yeah, absolutely. In the same vein that I was just mentioning about SPs, that same kind of thing applies to regular non-SPs too, in that, I'm not, I don't mean that, that everybody's stuck in some incident in the past, but uh, here's the theory in Scientology on criminality is that criminality stems from evil intentions or evil purposes. Hubbard uh, was big on the idea that decisions that a person made in the past could stick with them and influence them through life after life after life into the future, um, you know, all the way up to the present. Uh, <laughs> how's that for a little <laughs> tense madness? Um, so you could have, let's say, okay, here's how it, here's how it breaks down, is you have a person who um, back in the day, like, like, like let's say a thousand years ago or 10,000 years ago or 20 million years ago, it doesn't really matter. Um, they were minding their own business, walking down the street, doing whatever. And, um, and something really, the way this, the way Hubbard explains this is something really, really confusing happened. The person got locked into a confusion. And I don't mean a confusion like they, you know, couldn't read a billboard or something. I mean something really messing with their life, right? Um, like, let's say they were getting called in for a tax audit. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, this has nothing to do with Xenu. Okay, I'm just, I just the thought of this. But let's say they get called in for a tax audit, and the and the tax auditor, um, you know, is lying to them about how much they owe the government, and is going to bankrupt them, and is going to ruin their life, right? And the person gets really confused about this. I mean, really upset, right? And and like, why is this happening to me? And oh my God, my life is is falling apart. And it's like, it's it's important, right? It's a significant confusion. That confusion, from that confusion, the person could decide to do something really bad. <clears throat> uh, and, this is, and these confusions are where these evil intentions or evil purposes spring from, is the person decides as a, as a solution to this problem that they are faced with that they're going to blow up the IRS building or they're going to kill the IRS agent or something, right? And so they come up with a, an evil purpose to destroy the, the, the tax system or to destroy the government, okay? Um, we're just, I'm just gonna wipe out the government. And he, and he goes and, he, and he, you know, his life is in shambles, he's in ruins, he's got nothing to lose, and he just decides, he makes this very hard decision that the down with the government, right? And he goes and he purchases some explosives and he blows up IRS offices all over the, the country until they catch him and kill him, right? Um, so that would be an evil purpose that this person decided. They made a, an active, knowing decision to do that. And Hubbard said that that purpose will stick with the person and they will act on that purpose in their next life and their next and their next because that decision was so strong because the confusion that, that, that created it was so strong. I mean, it ruined the person's life, right? And so this person will act on this evil purpose. And over the course of all these trillions of years that we've lived, there have been thousands of these evil purposes that a person has come up with because over the course of all this time, you're gonna run into life-altering confusions and problems, and you're going to make bad decisions based on that, and those decisions are gonna stick with you. These are called, I use the word decision, but in Scientology, the word that's used is postulate. It's a postulate. And a postulate is a, is a firm, self-determined decision that a person makes in order to create something or make something happen or decide on something is a, is a simple explanation for it. Hubbard, Hubbard describes a lot of magical powers to postulates, right? He says that the only reason the physical universe exists is because we're postulating it. We're, we're deciding that it exists every moment that we are living as Thetans, we are deciding, we're all agreeing that the physical universe is a thing and that it has reality. And because we're all deciding that, it has reality, right? And that's as real as the physical universe is. So that's the power of postulates. But because we are so inured to the physical universe, we're so used to it and we're so mired down by it and we're so heavily in agreement with it, we can't just decide, oh, it doesn't exist anymore, and it goes away. It's too, it, you know, there's, we're, we've decided too hard on this particular postulate.
Well, it's the same thing for these individual postulates of behavior that we've made that Hubbard calls evil purposes. So these evil purposes are something that we carry around with us and it requires special auditing called false purpose rundown auditing in order to find these evil purposes and root them out and, and you know, sort of pull them out, you know, at the roots and, and, and do away with them. And through this false purpose rundown auditing, you find all these evil purposes and you, and you no longer have them after you've, you know, found the confusion that they sprung from. You, you know, you rip out the evil purpose and you no longer have that evil purpose. You no longer have to act on it. And this is uh, the theory that underlies the whole RPF program. And, and this is why I spent a thousand hours of my life auditing out all my evil purposes, right? I had hundreds of them, right? That I got rid of on the RPF. And that's why I'm such a good person. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's the theory of it. And that is why the answer to your question is yes, the past misdeeds of a person uh, act now to have them continue to uh, perform or carry out misdeeds because they're compelled to because they've done it in the past.